Now, as the shooting at Kennywood illustrates, the region is in the grips of a gun crisis. More and more young people are getting a hold of illegal guns and using them recklessly. But where are these guns coming from? How do we keep them out of the hands of teenagers? In an exclusive interview, KDKA investigator Andy Sheehan posed these questions to the director of the ATF. Guns in the hands of kids. They claimed the lives of 28 teenagers in Allegheny County last year and are on the same grim pace this year. According to ATF Director Stephen Dettelbach, we're not alone. We have this huge surge in youth gun violence, and we have this phenomenon where kids are turning 14 and 15 years old, and they're getting a gun. One of the things I do when I uh, go to a city is I try to meet with people in the community and state and local law enforcement and hear their perspective on things. And this issue of younger and younger people, really kids, uh, getting and using firearms is something that I have heard from not just one or two, but, but many chiefs of police and police officers. In response, ATF here and in Philadelphia has formed the Gun Trafficking Strike Force with state and local police to stop the so-called iron pipeline of illegal guns coming up from the south. We are tracking firearms that are coming into uh, our cities whether it's Philadelphia or Pittsburgh, from other places. And we have put together uh, cases involving firearms trafficking and gun running. But the bigger problem has been so-called straw purchases, where adults buy guns and then sell them to teenagers who are not legally eligible to own them. Recently, Congress passed the so-called boyfriend law, making this a more serious crime. Now, if you're asking me, uh, will that stop the, the problem of gun violence, I think that the honest answer is, no, that's not going to stop the problem of gun violence. The other main source of guns on the street are those stolen from cars and homes. And while the feds are not prosecuting people, they are asking gun owners to be more responsible to secure their firearms and report them when they're stolen. Other people are going to decide what tools they give us. Whatever they give us, we're going to use. One of those tools is a new regulation against ghost guns, self-assembled guns that have no serial numbers and cannot be traced. Coming up at 6 o'clock, I'll have more of my exclusive interview and tell you about the fight between ATF, gun rights advocates, and a Butler County supply company. Reporting on the North Shore, Andy Sheehan, KDK News.